All right, what's going on, guys? Hope you all are doing well. So, Vanguard Zombies, if you guys have played it already, you'll know that this game launched in a pretty uh, interesting state, we'll say. This is clearly one of those situations in which the game was not totally done before it had to come out. This is very obviously due to Treyarch just simply not having enough time to really flesh out and polish the mode. It's clearly not quite done. It's very half-baked at the moment. But, that being said, it doesn't mean it's completely shot. And for those of you on the fence about whether or not you're going to get the game, or those of you who have the game already and just want to know where Zombies Zombies is headed for the rest of this year. We're going to be talking about some pretty major changes that Treyarch is going to be making, some improvements to zombies that are coming, and hopefully this ends up being the product that it should have been on launch very, very soon. So we're also going to get into that, but plus, I also want to make this video a bit of a discussion with you guys, the community, and we can really talk about exactly where we want this game to head in the future. Now, we caught Vanguard Zombies early enough where there still is plenty of time for content to be added or changed or rearranged, what have you. Essentially, we're going to be talking about the major changes we know are coming, we're going to talk about some changes and additions we would like to see as a community, and most likely where this game is headed in the future, and hopefully we can keep the discussion very critical yet productive as well. So anyways, if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a thumbs up on the video, it'll allow more people to see this and get involved in the discussion, and ultimately we can have the best product as Vanguard goes along. If you're new to the channel and you are interested in more Zombies content, please make sure to subscribe as well, because we're getting very, very close to half a million. So anyways, first, let's talk about some of the most obvious things about Vanguard Zombies. Clearly, this is lacking a lot of polish in some areas, but the fundamentals of the game are pretty solid. Movement and gunplay are all really good for the most part, and balance is almost there, although there are a few tweaks I am going to talk about. I'm going to differentiate my complaints because I think the fundamentals and everything like just solid core gameplay-wise of Vanguard Zombies is actually really good, and it's maybe even very similar to Cold War, and, and I quite enjoy that. But it's quite obvious there isn't like a whole lot of external content to play, and of course we have have Duran Fung only and no round base maps in particular. Now, I, I've gone on record saying I'm okay with having like them update Duran Fung as we go throughout the season, but I do think it's a smart idea to also have round base maps alongside this. Every single Zombies game does the best when it has like a more intricate mode where you can do a, a, all sorts of things like Easter eggs or objectives, stuff like that, but you also want a mode that's easily accessible where you can just jump in and immediately start shooting zombies. It's less committal, you can just jump into the action a lot quicker and this is something vanguard definitely needs so i would say if to treyarch it's not too late right now you can still develop duran fong alongside uh round base maps as we go along but i think even having just some very simple cutout survival maps they don't even need to be super intricate and have like very big main quest easter eggs like we did in cold war round base maps if they're focusing that on duran fong but i think some survival maps would go a really long way as far as the reputation with the community and for the most part the systems in which a survival map would need to stand on are already there. We have the perks, the gunplay mechanics, even covenants could work pretty well in round based maps too. And in my eyes, I really don't think the community would be too mad at all if Duran Fong continues to get content support alongside maybe every once in a while we get a round based map or some sort of like survival experience, as that's definitely going to be what this game is severely lacking if they're only updating Duran Fong. So I totally understand that. Now, a major change we do know that Treyarch is implementing to the game. As soon as season one comes out, we will be getting a new objective for Duran Fong. Not sure what it is exactly, but it's also possible we get a new playable area alongside uh, this new objective too, because that's sort of the idea with this, as it's clearly not completed yet. Duran Fung's vision is supposed to be the sort of Stalingrad map that opens up, like, dramatically, and you can go deep into the city as you go along, but it's like, right now, we've only got about 20% of the map, roughly, and it's so obvious there are extended areas that just are unaccessible because they're not developed yet, but those are being worked on. I don't expect the biggest amount of, like, content updates to happen in the next, like, big update in season one. I really expect a lot of the big stuff to happen possibly in season one reloaded or season two. I think season one reloaded is going to have the first main quest of Vanguard Zombies. And I think that's primarily where they're going to be focusing like their Easter egg mechanics in. Uh, it's not to say that if they do develop round base maps or survival maps that they won't have them as well. But as far as like the intricate ones, I expect them to be in this mode. It looks like Treyarch is going to be taking like the first update or two to really like fix out a lot of the polish on this game and primarily like I would say the pack punch camo needs to be looked at just little things like no nuke animations and little stuff that you can notice in game that aren't completely finished what it seems like is once they catch up on bringing up the game to speed where it should have been on day one then we're going to start seeing some actual big content updates pr primarily kicking it off with the launch of the first easter egg but beyond that I also believe we're going to see a couple of big changes to gameplay balance 
balance. And I've been playing for the past few days, so I have a, a list of like big changes that I would like to see. First and foremost, I think weapons need a slight rebalancing when it comes to their pack a punch damage. More often than not, right now, basically the only way you can kill zombies at really high rounds is with shotguns. And I'm not gonna say that's like too out of the ordinary. Cold War was like that to an extent, but it wasn't nearly as noticeable. Also, armor shards do not drop nearly as commonly as they should, especially considering once you get into high rounds, it's a two hit down without uh, any armor. Even with fully upgraded Juggernaug, it's a little bit ridiculous. So I think armor shards need to drop significantly more often. And beyond that, here's one of the biggest ones for me. I th really think that in high rounds, the zombie aggression and power should be turned down maybe just a little bit, but the volume in terms of the number of zombies that spawn in at one time should be increased. They're a little bit too, like, beefy and tanky right now for my liking, and I think it would be better to compensate with slightly weaker zombies, but more of them. Also, things like Aether Shroud not displaying visually as long as you're in it. You basically don't even know when it turns off until the zombies start attacking you again. Because there's no visual indicator, it can sometimes be very confusing. But a lot of these are like minor polish changes that can easily be fixed within a few updates. When it comes to major content releases, though, I would say they really got to nail it with this first Easter egg. If somehow they're able to develop an egg that is like, you know, a, a fairly difficult solve, but is a replicable experience to repeat while still remaining like difficult gameplay wise, and we get something along the lines of the Legion boss fight from Outbreak, something to that extent, I think this game could absolutely pick back up some steam. Also beyond that, it looks like Treyarch is adding like solo and server pause for co-op games, which like in my opinion is literally just the pinnacle of the fact that this game wasn't done or ready to be released because we're basically launching without a pause button. Now I know that Cold War originally also did launch without a pause button, but they fixed it in like a weekend if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it looks like Vanguard is going to have to get that pretty soon. Interestingly, Treyarch was also asked if they ever have plans on adding something like grief mode or otherwise to Vanguard Zombies. And while they didn't outright say it, they did mention a lot of the devs in their studio are big fans of particularly grief mode and other side modes that have come and gone in Zombies throughout the years. And I really think that would be the best step forward for Vanguard is like update Duran Fong alongside something else. And whether that be like small survival round based maps or potentially even bigger round based experiences, I'm not sure. Or even like something like a grief game mode. But basically, this game just clearly didn't have enough time being developed, but as I said earlier, it doesn't mean it's irredeemable right now. If you have been waiting to pick up Vanguard specifically for zombies and you're wondering if you should get it, if you're only playing for this mode, I would hold off for now. I wouldn't purchase it until possibly after season one, whenever they release their like first main Easter egg, and then it will definitely be worth checking out again. I really think this game will be worth purchasing a little bit down the road, but if you get your foot in the door now, like, and you just have the game, it will be like a lot more valuable as more updates come out because again, everything is free as far as content goes. So to condense it down as a message to Treyarch, I really think that you guys can absolutely turn this game in the correct direction. I think Duran Fong should absolutely be at this point designed alongside even very simple like survival modes. Like even if it were just a survival map of Shinonuma, doesn't need anything too particularly difficult or like a main knee strike or anything, but just something to go in and shoot zombies that isn't something on Duran Fong, which is a little bit more committal and like objective oriented. I think the community would be very happy about that. That along Alongside the obvious polish the game needs, I think is going to get taken care of very quickly in the first couple of updates. So I would definitely think that this game is going to change in terms of quality pretty dramatically in the next like coming months. But now I want to turn the discussion over to you guys really quickly and ask you what you think you need to change or what needs to change in Vanguard Zombies. What sorts of things are very uh, a pressing issue for you right now? And if there's anything Treyarch could spend their time doing as far as improving the mode, what would it be? Would it be updating Duran Fong, optimizing the game, round based map? whatever it is definitely let me know down below in the comment section maybe it's a combination of all of them or maybe something i didn't even mention yet in this video but that's what this is for and hopefully treyarch is able to sort of take this community feedback and turn this game in the direction it should go because as it is in a somewhat rough state like i said it's not irredeemable but anyways guys that's gonna be it for the video today thank you all so much for watching i hope you did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like rating subscribe if you are brand new and i also stream zombies over on twitch if you don't follow me and like to hang out link to that is in the description i would love to see you there but have a great rest of your day guys and i'll see you on the next one take it easy i gotta go peace out fellas